It has been nearly two years since the regime of Libya's former dictator, Muammar Gaddafi, was overthrown. Thousands of lives were lost during the violence back then. But now, officials say the security situation of the country has become even worse. It is more evident today that preconceived ideas about political transition are likely to be a recipe for disappointment, if not failure. Mitri described to the UN how Libya faces a level of insecurity. In addition to the violence, there are economic problems as well. In a country where oil revenues account for approximately 80% of Libya's gross national product and 97% of its exports, the Libyan government faces the dangerous prospect of not being able to meet its financial obligations unless a resolution to this crisis is reached immediately. A United Nations report echoed Mitri's concerns. The report said that in Libya, quote, targeted political assassinations, criminal activity, and attacks and threats against the diplomatic community continue to plague the country, unquote. The report said that many areas are still under the control of armed militias. The new prime minister of Libya, Ali Zidane, has said he is concerned about the large amount of weapons that are leaving the country. Many weapons are being taken from Libya to other parts of the world, including Syria. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said the U.S. is hoping to improve the security situation. The United States is committed to promoting stability in Libya, in North Africa, and in the Sahel. So we're going to discuss uh, further uh, the cooperation on security issues. Just last month at the ministerial meeting in Paris, uh, the United States pledged more assistance for security reform in Libya. Prior to the war, Libya had the highest life expectancy in Africa and exported an average of 1.6 million barrels of oil per day. Today that number is down to 200,000. Many believe that since the change of government in Libya two years ago, ordinary life for many Libyans has taken a turn for the worse. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.